What's going on everybody? Hispanic Tango here for another episode of Pokemon Violet. Last episode we took down the Artisan Gym Leader. We are now headed to this hideout. One quick uh, update. Um, just for the sake of, I already have two fairy types. I decided for now to take out um, uh, Fido or Nakli, Nakli, I'm not sure the, the pronunciation of it yet. But uh, yeah, I switched it out because I felt like I needed a rock type. Uh, we're taking down a fire gem. There's a shepherd right here. That's uh, what I saw. I was going to try to catch. I see a lit Leo over there too. I don't, don't believe I have that either. But um, I was like, yeah, I kind of need a rock type to take down a fire area because none of my Pokemon right now can take down rock or fire types. So I was like, yeah, I kind of need to get this uh, figured out ASAP, which thankfully I did for now. Uh, it was between that and Cloth. Cloth doesn't evolve, but uh, Nackley does. I don't know. Again, I don't know if this is a permanent fix, but this is just a fix for now. I don't think that's going to work. Yeah. Oh, that might be bad. Okay, no, we're good. All right. Again, we, we uh, I don't know if I edited it out, but uh, I'm running low on Pokeball. Or not, not I'm running low on Pokeballs, but my Pokeballs are not as effective with catching these Pokemon. So I was like, well, maybe I need to switch. But right now I'm okay. And then I just need to catch this little Leo real quick. I will catch the Lit Leo and then, um, I'll, but I'll skip that one. So I'll, I'll see you guys soon. All right. So, uh, I, this is something I never really got to. Oh, Cassio, Cassiopeia here. I see you're getting close to one of the team star bases. I take it means you've decided to join my operation. That's right. Thank you. With this, you're officially a member of Operation Starfall. Hold on a second. Does this Operation Starfall of yours have room for one more member? What? Who are you? <laughs> the name's Clav. Oh, and how long have you been spying on us? No need to get your ha hackles raised. I'm a pal of your mutual friend here. Isn't that right, Tango? Uh, we're not pals. <laughs> Aha, shy as I er, I see. We're talking about going against Team Star here. It's not something you can join in for fun. Well aware, I just need to sort out some unsettled business with Team Star, that's all. Besides, I tend to get the job done well, now that you can take my word for it, but it's true. I suppose I'm hardly in a position to refuse help. Welcome to the Operation Clive. Great, that settles it then. I think I heard your name earlier. Earlier, Cassiopeia, was it? Who exactly are you? Team Star and I share some history. That's all I can say for now. I see. In that case, I won't press you further. Good now. Back to business. Let's talk Operation Starfall. Yes, what would you have us do? Simply put, I want you to raid each one of Team Star bases, then you'll defeat the bosses of the team and put an end to their rule. Put an end to their rule? You mean we need to oust these bosses from their role somehow? That's right, Team Star is made up of five squads, and each of those squads has its own base. You should be able to see the front gates of one of those bases now, in fact. Okay, I was about to say. Ah, yes, I can see them over there. On the other side of those bases is, is the base proper, and somewhere within that base lies one of your targets, a squad boss. Okay, I'm starting to get the idea. Well, that's just the outline. The key to the whole operation is the code that the team has to follow. If someone challenges one of the squad bosses to a battle, they have no choice but to accept. And what's more, if they just so happen to lose that battle, they must forfeit their role as boss altogether. I went ahead and issued challenges to each base under your name, Tango. They're basically declarations of war. Now, all of Team Star knows that we're looking for a fight. So let's say we defeat all the bosses and they step down from their roles. What happens next? The rest of the team crumbles with no one left to lead them. That's what happens. It's a solid plan, but not without wrinkles. Each base has a bunch of Pokemon inside to fend off intruders, and the bases themselves are a considerable size. Your garden variety trainer would be overrun long before they get anywhere near the boss. That's why your skills are essential to this operation. 
Defeat the Pokemon inside the base and drag out the boss from where they're hiding. First things first, you'll need to deal with any grunts that might be guarding the front gates. And what will you be doing in the meantime? Like I said before, I have a history with Team Star. That means I can't operate out in the open. I'll back you up from afar. Alright, and what will my role be? Sorry, but I don't trust you completely just yet. For now, I'd like you to monitor the bases and act as Tango's support. You're a cautious one. Alright, I respect that. I'll be in touch again when the plan advances to the next stage. Good hunting out there. Well, go get him, Tango. You look familiar. I have no idea what you mean, but if anyone asks you about me, remember this. I'm Clav, <laughs> a normal academy student, just like you. <laughs> nothing more, nothing less. Is that the director? I didn't even notice, but I really haven't been playing that much to really tell. But that's kind of funny. That's really funny. There's Team Star right there. The Lit Leo. Uh, um, let's see. Mrs. Bombasta needs to do some more work. Too bad about face. If you got complaints, take them up to the base. There's a rookie and a Corvus Squire. Murkrow. Do I have Murkrow? Yeah, I should have Murkrow. Another rookie. Oh, that looks like the evolution of uh, Lechonk. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can't be here. This base belongs to Team Star. If you don't clear out real quick, like, I'll have to come at you in self-defense. You get me? I'm not turning back. Well, all right. Time for me to self-defense the snot right out of you. <laughs> Good challenge by Team Star Grunt. Houndour. All right. Oh, yeah, I'm not ready for this yet. I am nowhere near ready for this. Uh, 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 <laughs> uh, I don't know what to do, guys. I don't know what to do, guys. I wasn't expecting a uh, level 25. I gotta do everything in my power to survive this battle. I mean, that's crazy. He's not gonna survive. Maybe I get lucky. Nope. I really don't know if I can survive. I think I'm going to get taken out. Uh, I really didn't. I, I didn't want to do that. Why'd I do that? Maybe I get lucky. Ah, I was about to say. Let me get lucky. Um... He's going to survive, I guess. That's who I should have had in there. I defended myself for all right, but it wasn't enough. Man, you're crazy strong. Wait, are you that kid who declared war on Team Star? Call me Tango. Whoa, thanks for the terrible news. Excuse me while I book it back to the rest of my crew. Hasta la vista! Star. Hey, Tango. Yes. <laughs> it's me, Clav. 
SEOP had told me to scope out the fire crew to the base. I thought I'd come give you some backup now that I'm through. But it seems you're all set. Woofoom! What? Woofoo! <laughs> Is that you, Charlos? <laughs> I thought so. What are you doing here? This Pokemon yours? This is Charlos, the Car Char Cadet. Boom! He's the one Pokemon the Academy takes care of when thin its grounds. Ah, Charlos, wait! He ran off. It looks like he may have some connection to fire, uh, Team Star's fire crew. I better chase after him. Don't worry, I'll regroup with you soon enough. You press ahead and... <laughs> okay. Ratatatata. I see you deal with the grunt standing guard. Nice work. Barely. Station inside that base is Team Star, Fire Crew, the uh, Peter Squad. Her boss, Mela, is the best all-arounder of the team. She fixes any problem thrown her way through her methods are heavy-handed. Her declaration of war must be made her blood boil. I bet even now her grunts are hard at work inside the base trying to keep the fu her fury under control. That means your best do uh, move is to take down all the grunts nice and quick. Once there's no one left, you can help Mela keep her cool. She, she should come out to confront you. Ring the bell on the gates once you're ready to kick this. Okay. I don't know if I'm ready. Do I risk it? Well, I, didn't, I need to heal, so let me heal real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, so I healed. There's a bunch of Tauros here. Um, I don't know what type Tauros is. That's the issue I'm running into. He might be dark, but the the whooper was a poison and ground. Um, I don't think he's poison. I'm trying to figure out what moves to use. Let's try this one, I guess. Yeah, these Tauruses are no joke. Um, they're like destroying me. I did catch one, but uh, yeah, these these Tauruses are tough. It's a it's a good way to like level grind but the issue is uh it's a fighting pokemon that by the way that's that's what i figured out um these pokemon are tough i like i don't know if i'm ready to take down this fire thing but it's like what else do i do over here there really isn't anything else to do because i i made my way here um, there really isn't anything over here. What is this? Oh, the next gym. Okay. Um, I feel like this is really the best route to do. So let me let me uh, level grind a little bit, and I'll be back in a little bit. All right, guys. So um, you know, didn't what's it called leveled up a little bit. Um, caught a couple Pokemon. I'll show you guys who I caught as I'm catching this one. But um, I, I told myself if I get to level 20, then I feel like I'm at a good point where I can keep it moving. Because I'm not going to sit here and just get to level 25. Um, it's just going to take too long. So I was like, if I get if I can get um, uh, Nackley to level 20, then I feel like I can do the rest. I feel like I can definitely get him to a respectable point. As you see, I'm... I'm caught a lot of Pokemon or not I actually haven't caught a lot of Pokemon I've actually used a lot of Pokeballs because they haven't been working okay cool that one worked oh uh hold on I wasn't aware of that all right so we're gonna use the first three of our party that's not good that's not what I was expecting okay um okay uh so we it's gonna have to be these three, right? Has to be, right? Okay, uh, wasn't expecting this. Here for now, Tango. Team Star has a unique way of doing battle. They call it a Star Barrage. You get through it, you'll need to use the R button to send out multiple Pokemon and have them battle at the same time. If your Pokemon get low on health, come back here and I'll heal them up for you. The grunts you'll be facing will heal up their Pokemon too, so stay, sh stay sharp out there. Beep, desserts. Heads up, gang. Some jump. Some jumped up kid has wandered in thinking he can raid our base. 
Clearly, he doesn't know how, or clear, uh, clearly, he doesn't know who he's messing with. Let's teach him a lesson he won't forget. To our unwanted guests, if you can defeat 30 of our Pokemon in the next 10 minutes, our boss might just honor you with an appearance. This is, uh, this is a lot different than what I'm used to. Okay. What you got over here? Okay. Uh, you said I can go heal, right? Please. All right. So this is a lot different than what I'm used to. I wish I would get some XP. That would be nice. Good job. Oh, Torkoals. Okay. Uh. Okay, hold on. I need to heal. Let me guys know. Let me know in the comments. Oh, I forgot to even talk about this, but. Is this like a format that you guys like? If you guys like this format where I'm, you know, I'm skipping a lot of the uh, the battles and stuff, let me know. If you guys don't like it, uh, what's it called? I figured if I could do smaller videos. Oh, well, that's not good. Ooh. Um, I mean, honestly, that's kind of fine. Kind of fine with what we got. I'm kind of fine with those two. Because a Nackley can pretty much take out a Pokemon by itself. Right, well, now we need to heal bad. But we, we still got plenty of time. I don't, I don't see how this would be an issue. I mean, really, I can... Have him take care of those Pokemon for me. Like that really wasn't that difficult. Okay. All right, here's the 30. He can take care of those Pokemon himself. Oh, we did the 30. That's easy enough. I, I don't, I didn't, I didn't see it as that difficult. Our defenses are breached. It's all up to the boss now. Well then. Who's driving the car? Boss of Team Star's fire crew, Mila. So you're the dope who picked a fight with Team Star. I don't know why you do something so stupid and I don't care. You challenge us, we'll beat you down. That's all there is to it. Prepare to get messed up. You were challenged by Mela of Team Star. Hey, Torkoal. Right here, right now, you're going down. I didn't think it might be the worst one to put in to start. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, it does have Rock Smash. I didn't do anything. What level is this Torkoal? This move will torture. There ain't nothing to it but Ash left. 
Flame wheel. Yeah, that's fine. That's not what I was expecting. That was the rest for of the cheater squad. <laughs> Alright, um okay, so I can use my whole team on this one. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, well, I do have moves to tackle you, specifically. Flame Wheel does a lot. I'm definitely going to die this turn. It's because the uh, the sunlight. Okay. Could I use Dig? Is it part rock or just fire? It could be just fire, I'm assuming. But I can... Oh, it's level 27. Okay, I finally... I, I swear it didn't say the level of it at first. If I can just delay the attack a little bit, then that'll do some work. Ooh, that, that hurt. Okay. Now I don't have to worry about the... Uh, the strongness of flame wheel. So I should be good now. Okay, okay. Hopefully this is his only poke I'm assuming this isn't even the only Pokemon. I'm gonna I'm gonna get excited about this one Pokemon and they're gonna have more. Um I'm gonna have to use revives and max revives and all this. This is not gonna be easy, fellas. Yeah, they got, they got two, two more Pokemon, or one more Pokemon. That's all I needed. I just needed a little bit. Reverum, a Reverum. I ain't bird to a crisp just yet. Oh, that's the Pokemon. Uh. I didn't think a car could be a Pokemon. Really? A ca the car is the Pokemon? What the heck? I'm so confused. My move didn't work. I'm so confused. What the heck happened? Yeah, this isn't going to work. Okay. Uh, okay, we can do a nice shade, and then we heal. There's no crit. Okay, we're good. Do I switch? Yeah, you know what? Let's try it. This is bombasted it a lot. Worst case scenario, I can always switch back. If it's gonna screech me, let it let it screech me. I survived the one hit. Okay, it's gonna try to attack me again. It's not gonna work. I'm gonna get the dig, and then I can switch back to Mrs. Bombasta. Because you're not gonna you're not gonna swift. You're gonna use a fire attack. So that that didn't work. Well, that for that Pokemon. Oh, never mind. You did swift. Okay, I wasn't expecting the swift. I was expecting the what's it called? Now Mrs. Bombasta needs to get things going. Blazing Torque. Can I survive that? I can! Cool! 
That doesn't do a lot of damage. But I need to heal Mrs. Bombasta. Mrs. Bombasta pretty much put us in a position to survive. I think uh, level 20 was the right level. Maybe not. Maybe not. 31.53. That did 22? Hopefully I can survive 22. Nope. Nope. Didn't survive 22. Um, I'm going to heal. You you can decide to screech or what's it called. I'm okay with you. If you screech, I'm okay with you. Do something else too. Okay, I'm okay with the screech. I'm okay with the screech. I can survive two hits. Maybe not these hits. I might switch, just to be safe. Ah! Wrong move! Oh, I survived! I didn't do anything! Let's go! Mrs. Bombasta for the win! Me memo and Bobby Boucher showed up at halftime in the Mud Dogs won the Bourbon Bowl, do you? <laughs> Uh, is this really how I'm going to end? What a hassle. About a year and a half ago. Man, what a hassle. Pulled it off just in time. Welcome back, Melly. I managed to get a bunch of Charcadet to evolve. That ought to be enough uh, to power the Star Mobile. And finally get that hunk of metal rolling. Glad tidings indeed. Is it not so, Ortega? I'm just surprised she's not all hot air. Oh, shed it with the snide comments. You can be such an annoying twerp. You know that? As if you're any better, Mella. Being rude and saying mean things is literally your whole deal. That's not true, Ordy. The girls at the academy have always been jealous of how cute Melly is. She just puts on a Shirley attitude, so they'll stop picking. Although, I guess you're not wrong to say that her Shirley attitude is what people know her for. What? Come on, not you too, Eerie. How about we leave it at that, folks? It's almost time for the big event. Yes, Operation Star is finally happening. And the big boss, what, pray, is their plan? They already got in touch with all the bullies and asked them to head over to the schoolyard. It's finally time, huh? Man, I'm so stoked. The thrill's burning me up right up. What happened a year and a half ago? I burned through everything I had, and now I've sputtered out. Guess this is where it ends. That Tinka Tinka of yours really let us have it. I wasn't Tinka Tink. Beat me in a battle is such a huge deal, so here, take the star badge and be proud of yourself. Team Star's fire created. What's with my face? <laughs> it looked like I just got punched. While I'm at it, you can have this TM2. Not like I'm going to need. Flame charge. Let me make one thing clear. I'm not giving these to you. I'm giving the, them to your Tinka Tink. You got what you came for, now leave me alone. You're Mello from Team Star. There's a Pokemon I'd like you to see. Huh? Who are you supposed to be? Woo! Star Cadet, wait. Woofoom! Well, if it ain't Charlos, what are you doing here? It seems he came to this base looking for you. It did? He's very attached to you, isn't he? Yeah, because I used to play with him every day back when I was still going to school. I can even tell more or less what he's thinking just by looking at the way his flames move. You have any idea why Charlos wanted to visit you? Charlos. To me, it looks like he's saying he wants you to come back. Just shut it already, would you? They say Team Star has holed up itself in these base to plot something against the Academy. Are you aware of this? First, I've heard of a stupid rumor like that. Man, it's nothing changed since back then. Everyone's still spouting garbage. And what about that modified car you were motoring around in just now? The Starmobile? We made that thing a long time ago to help us out with a big fight. 
but we never actually used it against anyone before you two came looking for trouble. He never used it before. And what's this about a big fight? You ever heard of Operation Star? Operation Star? Not Operation Starfall? No, this is the first time I'm hearing of it. Uh, yeah, I guess you wouldn't know. But for me and the rest of Team Star, it's a memory we'll always treasure. Tango, it's me. It seems Mela no longer carries her star badge, the symbol of her status as a boss. She gave it to you, did she? I see. Now that there's no boss to lead them, the rest of the Sheeter squad shouldn't last long. Oh, Mela. Sorry, got caught up in my thoughts first. Now about your reward. I'll transfer some LP over to your phone as promised. Okay. I took the liberty of adding some new entries to the range of TM machines. I haven't really messed with it yet. Do I get XP for this, though? Hello, I'm Penny from the supply unit. Probably don't remember me, but you got me out of a tight spot by the school stairs. I was glad to help. I remember you. Oh, so you do remember. But um, I'm helping out with Operation Starfall as part of my independent study, you know? The treasure hunt. Good with machines and hacking and stuff, so I'll be working behind the scenes. Here you go, your bonus reward from Cassiopeia. You'd be making a lot of TMs. Also, I heard all about how you had your Pokemon charge into battle. Seems you were pretty amazing. With a trainer as strong as you on our side, I'm sure the operation will go just fine. There's four more squads left, so um, good luck. See ya. I did not get any XP for that. That's crazy! But we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. Go ahead and leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And next episode, we'll heal our Pokemon and figure out what to do from there. Until next time, everyone. Peace.